premiere starts like a gunshot, literally. We saw Ezra get shot, and it is, it's it's nonstop from there. The title of the episode is Escape from New York, and that's very much what the episode is about. Is Ezra going to survive this, this gunshot from A? Will Ezra survive A's A's assault. Ezra obviously told the girls he knows who A is, so now he's a target just like Ali is, and the show really starts right there. The immediate fallout of the gunshot is is just pure adrenaline and, and pure emotion. We see we saw them on the roof in the finale. You know, you immediately forget about the betrayal and the lies, and it really was just raw emotion. And we know well, no one will ever forget Arya with her steer, tear streaked face. You know, saying, you know, don't you close your eyes, don't go to sleep. But if he should survive, then then the dust settles and the reality of, of their their most recent recent history sort of kicks in. So, so there is work to be done on the trust level of Ezria. What can fans expect from Alex's return? I understand that she's going to really throw off the dynamic between the liars. But I want to know is. What is the town kind of thing? What is she telling people? Well, she comes back with a very credible story as to why she was gone and, 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 and puts her alley spin on that right away. But, of course, that alley spin turns into more lies for the Pretty Little Liars that they have to support. And they get caught up in her, her girly-whirly tangled web very quickly. And they start to wonder, you know, we, we're glad Allie's alive, but are we glad she's back? I think Allie has grown a lot too, and if she is a bully, she's probably a bully on the inside and much smarter on the outside. I think she's grown up enough to know that you cannot be that person openly and get away with it. And, and I think, you know, one of the characters, Mona or Lucas, I can't remember, actually says to her when she comes back, I, I, I don't think people really change, not that much. So. It's, that's, that's the dynamic that we're going to have fun playing out. Ezria's relationship did start off kind of based off of the lie, but he took a bullet for her. I mean... I say, it's the ultimate sacrifice. If you can't, if you can take a bullet for someone, that's true love. You know, he took a bullet for all those girls. I, I think that he did save their lives up there. Spencer and Toby, they kind of had a really strange relationship and a lot of not talking almost. How are they going to be? Well, and I, yes, and I think we sort of left them with, you know, Spencer had lied to Toby about her, her Adderall abuse. I think they're both at this place where they don't want to keep secrets anymore, and I feel like they have made a big leap. And in season five, uh, so far, from, from what we've put out from the writer's room, and we're already several episodes into the season, Spoby is in a very trusting place, and, and they get past their secrets very quickly, and and there's a big twist about ready to happen for their relationship, but it's not a twist that's going to tear them apart. It's just a twist in the direction they're going. Fans her all about Emerson. This is oh, gosh. Like, yes. the like, next Ezria. That is a story that does need to, to be serviced. A story to, like, Allison was Emily's first love. Obviously, Allison kept a lot from Emily. It has caused Emily a lot of pain. There are trust issues there. And we will explore what, what's, what's the reality of that relationship? What are the, what's the reality of those feelings that each of those girls has for each other? I think Allison, there's a great scene in the premiere. I can't wait to share it with you. And, and it's actually, uh, I'll, I'll say it's an, it's an Ezra Allison flashback. And it tells so much about their relationship, but also speaks so much to who Allison is. And that kind of answers your question about Allie feeling like she needs to be loved. Now that Hannah has kind of, we can do a little bit of a romance with Travis. She seems to be happy. What can fans expect from this love triangle? Isn't that how it goes? Like when you finally move on and you finally find somebody else that can make you happy, then some, somebody comes back into the picture. So just when Hannah is feeling like she's making making progress with Travis and they're they're actually moving forward in their relationship, Caleb does come back to to Rosewood and he's surprised to see that Hannah has moved on. And of course, Hannah immediately. I mean, I mean, this is the guy that she really I think wants to spend the rest of her life with. So it's 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 a complicated complicated uh, turn of events for them. Switching gears a little bit to <laughs> a deep, dark secret in a, in a whisper that we saw in the season four finale was that Melissa Hastings whispered, Melissa's been to her dad. Are we going to be getting an answer to that, or do we have to be patient? 
you will be getting an answer to that. That the question of who killed that girl will be answered in our summer season, season five A, as we call it, and also the identity of that girl will be revealed in our hundredth episode of Pretty Little Liars. So that's going to be a, a big answer to a question people have been asking since they found out that Allison was alive. Somebody else has a missing daughter, and that's who's in that grave. She has a mother and a father somewhere too. So it's a it's a storyline that we're excited to dive into as we move forward.